Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Last two chapters, Saburo Masumoto, Ryuei Suzuki and Nobuyuki Yoshida, the trio behind the Asahi Pentax and Takuma lenses were introduced. I received an email from the representative of Fukuoka Perfecta, Itoshima City Hall, saying the Pentax lens was named after Takumar in memorial of his uncle, Mr. Kajiwara Takuma. I am certain Takumar lens's father is Ryuhei Suzuki. On stage is the Super Takuma 50mm f1.4 M42. Many reviews of this lens can be found in 7 or 8 elements radioactive or not, so let me think out of the box. First, all Super Takuma 50mm f1.4 later listed are radioactive. They are coated with thorium. About 8 elements versus 7. We commonly think more is better, but why Pentax later removed one piece? The optical construction of double gauss 8 elements in 7 group lens was the first generation of the 50mm f1.4, produced from 1964 to 1965. According to Asahi Optical, this product is designated by model 358. Estimated 128,000 copies were made. Here's the breakdown. First generation, 8 elements, product 358 produced from 64 to 65. Second generation product 37800 produced from 65 to 66. Third generation product 37801 produced from 66 to 1971. And the last generation product 37802 produced from 69 to 71. How to spot them? If there's no inscription behind the iris control, that is the first generation. The infrared mark is placed on the right hand side of the four mark and due to the legacy, under this red mark has a small R in red. Rear end glass is noticeable exterior and curve. Instead of having a red diamond shape, the earliest version of this lens is a red mark like a lollipop. If behind the iris control is marked 37800 is the second generation, 37801 the third and 37802 the last. The 8 element lens was sold with the early Spockmatic cameras to be used only with models SV and S1A as the rear glass protrudes into the camera further any other lenses and the push plate to actuate the lens had to be changed from rectangular to curve, fitting the gap between them. Otherwise, the push plates will damage the back of the lens. Consumers may not pay attention to their camera model, and to avoid this, Spotmatic cameras added an important remark to their cameras. Cameras having a green colored R marking on the film rewind knob are unsuitable to use with this lens. Only those with an orange color R the lens is too long for the camera with green R. And subsequent generations were produced. 37001 had no backward issues because it's shorter, lighter, and with only 7 elements. If you own a 37802 copy, you have to be proud owner. It was produced only 5,750 copies and only for the domestic market. Thank you.